welcome back to Rhea Reads. My name is Rhea and today I'll be reviewing Memorial by Brian Washington. So I bought this book a month ago, maybe a little less than a month ago. I bought it for myself for Christmas. So I think I bought it on Christmas Eve. I had been seeing this book around Bookstagram and Booktube. A. Marie, the singer A. Marie, she has A. Marie's book club. She featured the book and then typically she'll give you like a month to read it and then she'll bring aboard the author to interview them on her platform. I typically don't follow along with book clubs. Like it's either I've already read the book that they're featuring or I read it after they recommend it. And so I kind of made a mental note because I take some recommendations from her and um, I saw it in Barnes and Noble and I was like, you know what? It's featured on this, this table on its own. So maybe I'll just buy the book. So right away from the cover, I'm like, definitely a central theme is like food. Yeah. Sometimes when you see books and they're like hyped up and popular, we all know it's like, it depends on who recommends it and who vets it. And you're like, oh, do I really want to give this a try? I really hadn't heard anything about the author before. This is him, Brian Washington. And so, I mean, it was a risk, but I have to say, I had kind of just read When No One Is Watching by Alyssa Cole. And then I gave myself a day, which I usually do. And then I picked this up and started it. And I finished this in less than a week i was like glued to this book so right away i'll give it like four or five stars i want to say yeah there's 303 pages so the book is told through the lenses of two people the first being benson who is the main character benson is an african-american male and the story is also told through the lens of his boyfriend mike mike is a Mike is a Japanese American male. And so it's a really interesting book. <laughs> They're really like, it's a story where opposites, kind of opposites attract. So Benson, he was like really stoic, really just uninterested. And he met Mike at a party. And then he realized that he previously saw him on an app. He tried to go on the app again and just keep swiping until he like found him. He eventually did find him. He sparked up a conversation with Benson. Benson did give him a little trouble in the beginning. I won't tell you what the big awareness is in this book because it comes at a surprise like somewhere in the middle. But there is something that I like that Benson kind of disclosed to Mike early on. So he did give him the opportunity to say, you know, I'm just going to let you know this is what it is. If you want to continue to pursue me, you can, you know, but just discretion is there. So I really appreciated that from the author. But what happens in the story is this couple, they live together. They eventually move together. Benson is dealing with his family, he's from an upper middle class family in Houston. His father was a newscaster. I'm not sure what his mother did, but his parents did divorce because his father had a problem with alcoholism. And in the book, you see he's struggling with that. And also it kind of puts a strain on his relationship. So already with his parents, he has a strain in that relationship. Also, we learn about his sister. Same thing. There's like a weird dynamic there. And then you have Mike, who he's Japanese American. He comes from really, really low class family. And he does try to explain to Benson, like, you know, even though you say lightly you're middle class, there's a big difference between how I grew up and how you grew up. And so Mike's mother now lives in Japan and his father does as well, but his father is estranged. Like he has little memory with his dad. He grew up with his mom and his dad at a young age and then they did separate and he really didn't have much connection with his dad but in the book something happens where there's a question of whether or not mike is being forthcoming with benson and very quickly we learn 
Mike's mother is coming into town. So I kept hearing that theme when I heard about the book and I thought, oh, it's a story about a mom coming to town and then he, the mom has to deal with the spouse and you know, it's awkward, like regular, like guess who? You remember the movie Bernie Mac and like Ashton Kutcher, guess who? But that's not what happens in this book. And so I think it was really different, like everything from his tone to how the story played out was really different. So actually, Benson is at home. Mike's mother flies in from Japan and right away Mike leaves. So imagine your mother-in-law coming. You've never met her before. You don't even know if she knows that you're exclusively in a relationship with her kid and then your significant other leaves, goes to another country. So the story is mainly told through Benson's point of view from the beginning to a little bit like the midpoint of the story and then it switches over to Mike. I got so used to hearing Benson's like tone that it was really hard for me to get acclimated with Mike's voice and also their lives are really different because Mike was starting to tell you about how things were going with him in Japan. He was seeing after his dad who was this really stubborn character and he met quite a few people in Japan and it was just really interesting. A lot of things about his identity started to come out. And um, I don't know. Like, eventually I did warm up to Mike's voice, but I kind of missed Benson's. And if you flip ahead, you can kind of see where the book separates the um, two characters. So before the story ends again, things kind of do switch back to Benson's point of view, which I really did appreciate. But I don't know. It was a really unique story. I might have shed a tear or two. I don't know. Like, you really got to feel the humanity of the characters. And even his dad, Mike's dad, while he was going through his sickness with cancer, you really got to see how his humanity came to the forefront of the storyline. Because, again, he was a really stubborn character. He wanted to make it seem like he was just okay. So I would say Memorial is a really fresh story, really refreshing story. Not many other stories on my bookshelf like it or a lot of stories that are kind of out right now like it. So I really enjoyed it. I would recommend that you read it. And the author, Brian Washington, he also wrote a lot. So I'm going to check that out because I didn't know much about that either. So thank you so much for watching. Also, don't forget to subscribe and comment below if you plan on getting this book or if you've read it already, tell me what you think. Thank you.